Hi, I'm Fox. Couch guy. I'm Rackable. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show where we bring you the latest and greatest in I tech news and hacking. You can leave greatest out of there. We'll just say the latest. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we got stuff. We're a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network and Mevio and we got stuff. What do we want to bitch about? We like, we like new things. Nintendo. News. It's Nintendo. news. Don't worry about it. Just try. Yes. Okay. Nintendo. Nintendo. They're coming out this weekend with the Nintendo 3DS, which is big news because the Nintendo DS is old. <laughs> well, and if you hadn't had enough... Nintendo news. I mean, or enough new things. So Nintendo claims that the DS is the best-selling video game system of all time in you know, terms of units sold. And I'll buy that. I'll, I'll well, buy that. Well, there's I'll only three or four versions of it. True, but basically I'm the game. Like a whole slew of DSs over here. The, yeah, they, <laughs> they count. And don't they break like a, like a heartbeat to so get away three of them at a time? Only when you drop them yeah. in wine. Oh, yeah, like look at my desk. <laughs> <laughs> 30 bucks or you know 30 bucks for a new case with the hinge that's the key part buying uh, the hinge with the hinge hmm yeah point is the new we're talking about the new one we're talking about the new Nintendo 3DS I know 3DS. but we're talking about the family of <laughs> and it, it so Nintendo's finally saying yeah sales are starting to slow down a little bit and Sony's gonna put out something new we might as well get on the bandwagon and why don't we make it 3D! Yeah, because that's, you know. Because uh, two eyes aren't enough. <laughs> so that, that, that gets me <laughs> into the, the technical specs, which are kind of actually interesting, because, like, the, the resolution on the regular DS is, like, really low. Which one? All of them. All of they them. all have the same resolution. They all have the same resolution? Same. Yeah. So the yep, screen size increases, the resolution doesn't change. Yes. Yep. Awesome. So the, the interesting thing is the top screen on the new one. The top screen is the one that's 3D. It's got the parallax barrier, and it's uh, 800 by 240 pixels. Can I just tell you that? The 240 is it? It's alternating. It's 240 for both fields, right? No, it's the other way around. It's, so each eye gets wait, 400 what? by 240 because you're seeing the um, each line it's is only, turned. It's a vertical 3D setup, then, right? Yeah, exactly. Because so each pixel slightly tilted one way or the other. That way, when you're looking at head on, it only you only perceive it from each eye. That okay. Because it's glasses free. The 3D. prism is used in place of to split the beam. So when you're watching 2D content, you get high resolution, 800 by 240. But when you're watching That's 3D, really ass. you're getting a lower res, but not really because you're perceiving it with both eyes, so it's sharper. Like when you're doing, like I had my eyes checked last week. And, you know, when they cover one eye and they cover both eyes, oh, it's a lot clearer when you can see with both eyes. Okay, I hope... <laughs> okay, so the screen resolution, how does it compare to the old DS system? Um, the on the old DS system. I didn't look that up. <laughs> but the bottom screen's um, 320 <laughs> by 240. And it's it's still higher resolution than the old one. I bet the top one, the old one, was the, 320 by 240. No, no, the old one was like... Um, like 280 by 168 or something really low because uh, that's an issue with compatibility. You don't want to toss out your old one. Even though your old one can play DS games, it's not as bright because of that parallax barrier that's on there and it's um, stretched all funky. Can I say that I have a problem with the word parallax barrier? It sounds like a contraceptive. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, did you put in the parallax barrier tonight? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just... Moving on, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> this isn't Nintendo's first adventure into 3D. The, the, oh. fir the first thing they did was an, was an accessory for the regular Nintendo. Which oh, was, I, no think, shit. Yeah. I think, was it the original they had, Nintendo? Had, they had an active shutter. They had a little IR sensor that you put up there and active shutter glasses like they're doing today with 3D for television. I thought they had something before that with the Game Boy. Virtual Boy. They had a Virtual Boy come out. I thought that was before the, the one that they did for the, the their other one. Hmm, I don't think they so. Might have, there might have been some weird-ass third-party attachment to the Game Boy. Probably. I just remember this thing. It was all, it was all, all the games were red. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the Virtual that, that's Boy. That's the Virtual Boy. Yeah. 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 I wasn't sure where the timeline was. <laughs> that flopped horribly. Of course, because it was like, what, 400 bucks? It wasn't that much. It was like 200. But it, it had a lot of issues. 
Yeah, like it gave and me no seizures. <laughs> and it was all red. And it was all red. But that was speaking of weird resolutions. At the time, everything was that golden it and was, brown. It so okay, dig this. It was only like two hundred and four, uh, two hundred and forty pixels by one resolution. <laughs> <laughs> because it like scanned. It one? scanned. Yeah. It scanned up and down. Oh. And they had one for each set of eyes. So they had two sc two screens that were two hundred and forty by one, and they they scanned. Like a, like a really CRT, fast. yeah, like a CRT monitor. It was shooting a laser into your eye up and down really fast. Wow! <laughs> I just remember it was really awkward. Never knew anyone that had one. I have one. It's in the garage. It's in the storage shed. I'm sure it is. I'll have to dig you it out. You have one of everything. I don't. And what this show is getting along. <laughs> okay. So, what else, hardware-wise, intrigued you? Paul? It comes in metallic, so you can get it metallic, aqua blue, or cosmo black. That's not hardware, that's... <laughs> that's just pretty. That's the dress. That's shiny. So, yeah, so don't trade in your old DS if you really dig some the, the older games because they don't they look like crap on the new one. Good point. Okay, that, so I didn't that's, know that. Can you turn the 3D off? Yes, yes there's a can. slider. You can adjust the amount of 3D. So that means that your old games could look better by turning off the 3D? No, because the old games it's simply like aren't in 3D. Oh. So. Okay. So, uh, um, um, where? Where can you get it? Everywhere. <laughs> it, it really, yeah, they're going everywhere. Uh, so, the new stuff. Um, some changes to the platform, or whatever they want to call it for the DS now. DSWare? DS? IDS? Well, no, they're all, they, they all use the same game structure. They're just, they change the, you have the DS Lite, the DSi, or the DS XL, well, and then okay, you have the different so cases for those. The DS? Light to the DSi, the menu or the um, the software, the OS, I guess, for the DS changed. Yes. You have what do they call that now? Uh, the DSWare is what it was called. But, DSWare. But okay. that's further down in the list. Or was it? Oh. Wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. You uh, covered hardware, now uh, it's software. So okay. Anyway. So the DSWare, like it was for the DSi, I assume. The... Yeah, so but they're calling it something else now. It's some Nintendo thing. <laughs> DS virtualization. You know what? I like how PS, how Sony kind of just centralizes all of their releases for the PSP and the PS3. Did you get that that notice? They're switching now. It's no longer going to be the PlayStation Network. It's going to be like the Sony Network. I did get the Sony Network. Now. So all the connected TVs will have the same account. So all the Sony products will be under the same user ID and everything. Whoa. Yeah, they're like, um, accept this or you get your money back and you can't use it anymore. <laughs> you get your money back. You don't get any money back. You don't get any but money back. But not on the, the scope of this show. <laughs> so I'm sorry about it up. Yeah. So any... Well, so yeah, so... It, to bring it's up like the Wii. The, it, the, the OS is like the Wii. They want to make it more okay. like the Wii. It's more like the Wii, so it's got a bunch of, bunch of built-in, you know, like, programs or programs that you can download from their Wi-Fi store. Which means they want you to run apps. So they've got uh, they got a Me Maker, a Me Plaza, a, a inf a IR type games that are built into it, uh, augmented reality, uh, face riders where you actually take a 3D picture of somebody's face and then drive cars around on it. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Hold still. <laughs> uh, activity log, which is like on the Wii, just says you know you played 20 hours today and whatnot. <laughs> That's for your parents to feel oh, good about their investment. eShop. eShop is what they're calling it. And then the, the 3D video players. So they were showing like How to Train Your Dragon. You can watch movies in 3D. Uh, Netflix is coming to it. It's not on launch, but there's really rumored to be 3D movies on Netflix. I didn't think Netflix so. was going to go to any portable device. They're on the iPhones and iPads. I mean, like gaming console stuff. But I guess it does count. They went to that. They haven't made it their wow. way to anything else. So it'll be able to take 3D pictures with the still camera immediately, and in a future update, they promise video recording in 3D with the two cameras. Because there's four, three cameras on it. <laughs> there's two on the back and one on the front. Okay, so the most disturbing thing I see on this mm -hmm. is the price tag. So it's 250 bucks. Which is $100 more, roughly. Well, okay, the DSXL is 169 so, Yeah, the XL is worthless. What's the DSi cost these days? It's 149 it's hundred dollars more than the DSi. Uh, how much? How much was the PSP when it came out? Two hundred forty dollars. Yeah. 
So it's the same oh, price as the PSP was when it came out. So it's not unreasonable. It's kind of pricey. But I'm sure it'll drop if sales go bad. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll drop by Christmas. You know, it, it, they probably priced it so it could be at like 200 bucks. And as soon as the Sony thing, the NPG comes out, they'll knock it down 50 bucks. It'll be a guaranteed 199 by Christmas. Yeah. So if you wait about six months to 12 months, it'll be about 150. Yeah, uh, they'd have to really, really shoot down the price of DS Lite. So the so the weird thing is, like with the DS, they ported a lot of Nintendo 64 games. Um, apparently, they're doing the same thing with this one. They're porting a bunch of Nintendo 64 games in 3D. So hey, Pox, are you ready to buy Mario 64 again? Yeah, yeah, I want to buy it for the fifth time. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, no, actually, the Mario game is going to be a totally new game. They're going to make a unique game. It's going to be closer to Mario Galaxy than anything else. That's what they say, just to get you. And it's not coming out right away. It's going to be later. But, uh, yeah. But what's coming out right away is Nintendo Dogs, Nintendo Plus Cats, uh, Steel Driver, Madden, Sims 3. How did I know that Star Soccer, Fox is going to be involved in this? Ridge Racer, Monkey Ball, Lego Star Wars, Samurai Warriors, Dinosaurs 3D, Ghost Recon, Rayman 3D, which is a port of the Nintendo 64 Rayman 2 game, um, Street Fighter Boring. 4, is it 4? Yeah, Street Fighter 4, which actually oh, okay. looks pretty cool. <laughs> and, but the big launch title is Pilot Wings. They finally got a brand new version of Pilot Wings out. A or, brand new version of a remake. No, it's not a remake. It's a new installment in the s- series. series. Yeah, <laughs> in the franchise. The last one was for the Super Nintendo, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Super Nintendo. There was only one. There's only been one other one. It was a Super Nintendo game. No, no, wait. They made a Nintendo 64 game. I think. We digress. Anyways, they, they're making a new um, Pilot Wings Resort. So that's going to be like, if I get one, that'll, that's what I'd get. If you get one, you will be getting one. I was going to say, when you get one? Yeah, so that's the game I'm going to get. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then in future games, a, a whole bunch of ports, like um, Zelda o- Ocarina of Time in 3D, Star Fox 3D, Animal Crossing 3D, Paper Mario 3D, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil. Uh, there's one port, and there's going to be one brand new Resident Evil of a new game in the series. And uh, new Professor Layton, and Ooh. a Professor Layton uh, Ace Attorney and Law combo game where they do something together. What? <laughs> yeah, they said it's going to be finger pointing. <laughs> uh, see, I, I still have to try the you know the Phoenix Wright lawyer game thing, whatever. I've been interested in playing that, but I like the Layton games. Uh, That's got me hooked. Assassin's Creed. Uh, New Mario Kart. There's going to be a new Mario Kart, which I'm, I'm going to get because I'm a big Mario Kart fan. And the new Nintendo or Super Nintendo 3DS. And Kid Icarus is the big deal. Ooh. New Kid, Kid Icarus game. Not a new game since uh, Nintendo. So that's a big deal. Okay, so shit ton of games coming yeah. out. Yeah, so they're not, it's not a soft launch by any means. They've got a bunch of games. And anything else interesting besides the games? But they only have a couple that are new games. <laughs> Anything? Uh, oh, um, the street pass and spot pass. Spot pass. Which I still don't fully understand. Other than, like, you have your game on, you put it in the standby, you hop on a bus, and then somebody else, like, who has Street Fighter, who did the same battle. thing. Yeah, they're like, yeah, like they'll, they'll start buzzing, and you're like, what the hell? And you open it up, and you're like, ah. Oh, I'm being sexually gone. harassed on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's just my Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but the Let me first. Put my away. How do I see a hack coming to this thing that involves identity theft? So okay, so Pox earlier said that's that's so that's the street pass. Okay, that that's the definition of the street pass. Then we'll we'll go into the spot pass next. The other thing too is that with the shopping or the e-shop, whatever you've got your registered credit uh, card number, payment information. Yeah, you've got your payment inform- information stored there. So as soon as you PayPal know. or whatever you're using in the domain. Yeah, other information's been leaked out from your DS. That is now vulnerable, and then all of a sudden, just it's, the floodgates have been opened. Not to mention all those pictures with 3D pictures of Grandma. Yeah. Poor Grandma. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure they've taken all kinds of measures, but there's, I'm no, sure they have. there's, there's no such thing as being 100%. So. Nope. Well, 
We'll we'll see. <clears throat> Any like, bets? <laughs> like in Europe, there uh, was a Vodafone or something saying, "Don't use um, Square because it it's horrible. It's got security flaws or something." But so is every other credit card transaction processing method? Exactly, and that's what Square said. They said it's safer to use Square than it is to give your credit card to a waiter. Just anybody no can shit. do whatever. To yeah. it, so it's the carbon <laughs> copy zap. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Safer than giving the credit card number over the phone. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. And, oh, and um, as far as hacking goes, um, on the, the Nintendo DSs, you could get these carts that you could pop in there and you could run ROMs and things. And um, things. Yeah, they're blocking those. <laughs> so far. <laughs> so far. They said they took extra measures to make sure those things won't work. Did they change the... Uh the medium, are they still staying with something the it's, same Sonic size chip or are they going to go for smaller? It's the same size but it has a little wing on it so that you can't pop it into the older ones. I would uh, think that they wing. would go like everybody else is doing, go smaller. No, no, because they needed to be able to play the old games. Oh, uh, okay. So that's... But the, the That's always been Nintendo's thing. They've been backward compatible since day one. The Wii still plays GameCube games. Well, they, they really liked the idea that the Game Boy was the best video game system of all time because they never changed it in enough that it wasn't not compatible with the old ones. So from 1988 to 2000, it was considered the Game Boy, and it was the best-selling system. Because Oh, those cheating bastards. <laughs> yeah, because they never really changed it. I mean, they so put, technically, the day one since they started the DS, it, everything since has been the DS. Yeah, right, exactly. right, right. So like even Game Boy same system. That's even, why they don't change their games. The games all say DS on them. Yeah, like else. even the Game Boy Color, it, they had certain Game Boy Color games. They still played in the old Game Boys. So that's what defines w whether or not it's a new system is whether or not the new games can play on the old system. If they can't play on the old system, it's a new system. So <laughs> PlayStation really jacked themselves over because they could have said the PlayStation. You know, as long as they made it backwards compatible all the way to, you know, well, version no, they, 1. It, it, they, but they'd have to make That's the new emulation. games playable on the old oh, system. Oh, okay. So they have to make them co reverse compatible. Reverse compatible, which they could do. It would be a pain, but they could no. do it. Yeah? No. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they still put out PS2 versions of PS3 games. <laughs> they just put both versions on the I'm same disc. I'm just saying PS1, though. Can you imagine <laughs> playing a PS1 version of a PS3 game? <laughs> That'd make you twitch. <laughs> Yeah, that's... On a PS1? Ugh. Okay, maybe not so much. Uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, Anyways, <laughs> that's the 3DS? That's the 3DS! It's in 3D! And I think you're just excited for anything that says 3D. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> Your verdict. Buy one or pass? My verdict is... Wait on it <laughs> unless you're trying to cover things on the podcast. <laughs> Catch guy, buy it or pass. I'm sorry, it's a pass. I, I not not okay. just because I'm not in a DS. That's the only reason. I'm just not into DS stuff. I'm not excited by it. 3D that kills you. On now that supposedly, one. supposedly, I have yet to see one in person. The 3D is actually very good because it's right on. There's um, no glasses. It, you don't have to have the weird funky shutter thing going on in your face. I can't wait till the first kick and drops with an epileptic seizure. You can turn it off. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, that, uh, I, I mean, on the box, Nintendo's six years old. 3D. You can't three. It says you can't use the 3D unless you're six years old or pl older. <laughs> My son will be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> like you were gonna buy him one. <laughs> but I'm thinking it has to do with the spacing of the of the eyes because they made that parallax barrier for an adult. <laughs> I'm sure they did. <laughs> it might be with how your eyes are trained too. Or the know. fact that children at that age could have seizures like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's Billy like doing? Focus. <laughs> like just yeah, eyeballs just go in different directions. <laughs> Remember how you had the um, the uh, the B button syndrome? Now you've got another syndrome. Uh, what was that syndrome called? Um, B buttonitis. Buttonitis. It was like numb something thumbs like or something like that. Or <laughs> numb thumb. That's it. Now you've got numb eye. Numb cross eye. eye. Num num or, cross just, eye. Num or just or just blindness. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to see our crazy uh, overview of the Nintendo DS. If you want 3D. one, you'll be able to get one anywhere you want it. 
Yeah. It's really, they're going to throw out a million of them. You think? I'm I'm sure think they're they're gonna, okay, any predictions? On, are they going to sell out overnight? I mean, are you going to be able to get one on um, Sunday? At two fifty a piece, no. Because they're coming out. They're coming out this Saturday at midnight. No, they're not going to sell out. You don't think so? No, they're not going to sell out. No. So when I went and got the Nintendo DS when it first came out, when it very first came out, there was a line, and That's they did sell out. But I went and got the the three days later, three DS or the the DSi, and I was the only one. <laughs> Because it wasn't a, it wasn't a new system. Like, nobody cared about the DSXL. Yeah, I don't care. I, in fact, no. I was really mad about that one because I had the fat old one, and then I, I then I upgraded to a smaller one, a nice thinner one, and then they tried and sell me a fat one again. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't buy that one. <laughs> but don't worry, the one that's two fifty, pop. There comes the money. You know what? No, because everybody already spent their money on Connect or the iToy or all, all the other crap. So nobody's going to have enough money for the 3DS. You know, the, the 3DS is actually a, a pretty powerful system. We never really talked about the graphics processor. Oh, in okay. So what's that? So it's uh, it's probably about equivalent to the GameCube-ish graphics for the resolution. Well, that's not bad, being it's on a little handheld that was yeah. pretty low. So it's, it's, a, it's a reasonable upgrade, which is interesting because they're still only porting Nintendo 64 games. You think they'd be porting GameCube games. But Metroid Prime on the 3DS. There you go. 3D first-person shooters. That's um, actually I have some perspective on the situation. You know what I think we should be the first person to do is make 3D t-shirts for 3D, you know. <laughs> Uh, 3D t-shirts. I wonder if they have those. Well, I'm sure they do. Uh, yeah. Well, I, you know, I... T-shirts that play music. And well, <laughs> yeah, I know where the best place to find t-shirts of any kind that you want to have, though, is. Where, where is that? Where? Zazzle. <laughs> I like me some Zazzle. And uh, pay close attention, because if you're, if you're going to be using this code right now before the end of the month, the, the two... Smart guy 03. Actually, over, th yeah. over there. But next month, you're going to have to start using... To smart guy 04, and you'll save 10% on orders $50 a month. So Make me a t-shirt that says, I hate 3D, or I live in 2D, or something like that. I live in hey. 2D, that'd be kind of fun. I wouldn't buy that. They would. <laughs> you still live in 2D. An anti-3D movement t-shirt of some sort. <laughs> I'm so bored with my 3D that I have to have more 3D? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Well... When I get one, because apparently I am getting one according to you guys. Really? Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let's have let's have an intervention. Is there a chance that you're not going to get one? Possibly. They could okay, be sold wait, wait. out. Uh, see, <laughs> what are the stipulations of you not getting one? One, that week you happen to forget and go get it the next week. Okay. Two, they sell out. Not... I'm going to pass on this one because it doesn't really have a big enough upgrade for okay. me. I'm not going to get it because... Here's, here's my major selling point on why I'd probably get it. Because I'm a sucker for 3D, and it's got, a 3D, it's got 3D cameras built into it. That's not really... That's his selling point right there. I'm going to go take 3D pictures and eventually 3D movies. So why not buy one of the small 3D um, digital cameras? Because they cost just as much. The, 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 the bloggy, the 3D bloggy is going to be 250 Of course, I'm sure it's going to look a million times better because I think these are VGA resolution cameras. But Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining us. He'll have one leave, next week. We'll look at it then. Leave in the comments below your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think this thing is going to be a hit or a miss? Or are you going to get one? What color are you going to get if you do get one? Is it worth it? 3D a big deal to you or not? Send us your 3D pictures. We want to race <laughs> on your face. And send us your comments for a 2D based t-shirt. Yeah, we want a 2D based t-shirt. So the back side is transparent. And uh, don't forget, subscribe to the feed. See our shows every week. See you guys next week. See ya. This is a Two Smart Guys production. This is, this is a Two Guys production. Oh, that's not the right word. This guy's with a freedom. <laughs>